Good evening, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another rage video for our second part of our St. Valentine's Day Massacre special event, where, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be tackling our very first reaction to Type O Negative, Love You to Death. And if you haven't caught on at this point, then... Basically, all of uh, our our reactions throughout uh, today are going to be influenced by the uh, the uh, by the feel by the emotion of love. And interestingly enough, the previous song we covered, "Love You to Death," uh, "Love You Forever" by Motorhead, really sort of covers the uh, the levels of like passion that Lemmy absolutely had for his uh, girlfriend after death, for who had died tragically from a heroin overdose, and then. It kind of got me thinking about like, like maybe it, it was more out of love, maybe out of, out of respect, or the fact that it, it, Susan really was the, the only uh, woman that uh, Lemmy ever loved. And then, so it, it, it's, 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 I think it's a fascinating topic uh, to discuss because the, I am, I will admit there's quite a few things I do know about like the subjects of love, but the problem is, is that as we're slowly starting to discover, it's only met by my terrible, it, terrible ignorance because of you know, case by cases and understanding people's difference, differences and experience, which is bound to happen. But at the same time, um, I got nothing actually. I must be said. I must be said. So let's see. Um, maybe if we can see what else they, they've got to say, because I know there's going to be like varying degrees of the discussions of love through like affection a sexual nature love for you know a more divine intervention and the, i know there's six technical definitions of love according to you know the greek uh, the, to what the greeks believe in but i want to see exactly what our boys can uh, can conjure up so if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves links will all be in the description down below so let's begin. Love you to death in three, two, one, and. In her place, one hundred candles burning. A salty sweat drips from her breast Her hips move and I can feel what they say Swaying They say the beast inside of me is gonna get ya
Okay, wow. Wow, 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 indeed, ladies and gentlemen. That was, um, that was very, very, very interesting. And uh, this sort of, this goes like a, f a good few places, this song. It goes from what I can only imagine is like the beginning of a relationship where the thing that attracts you is pure primordial lust then you get to know each other then you get into a into into a relationship and then you you just sort of you're captivated by somebody just by getting to know them and then then it, it goes into a lot of detail like i beg to serve your wishes my law now close those eyes and let me love you to death shall i prove i mean what i'm saying begging it goes on to like he's actively like wanting some level of affection and then it's all like when it gets to begging i kind of like have noticed a little bit i say the beast is i gonna get you but is he begging because he just wants to bang this lady or is he begging just because he just kind of wants somebody to pay attention to him does he is it, is it attention, affection, love? Is that what he wants? Because it kind of sounds like he will, it's, it is love and affection because he just goes over very minute detail like black lipstick on a, on a red wine glass. And then all of a sudden, um, it just goes into, let me love you, let me love you to death. And then it finally goes into, am I good enough for you? And that's when I think like the relationship starts to turn sour is because this guy may have gone out of his own way to, you know, show uh, what a sort of a, an, an affectionate, an affectionate, a loving sort of person he is. And before you know it, it suddenly becomes the case where, you know what, is it, it, it is this woman getting off on the fact that he will literally throw himself on the ground to, just to, you know, so she's, so she's okay. I kind of almost was almost even going through my mind the uh, the simp notion of do you really have to light a woman's cigarette? Why can't she light her own cigarette and stuff like that? It's that that's what I think's like going through this. And again, as someone who is sort of actually quite new to the idea of goth metal or even uh, goth rock, yeah, similar to something like the say the sixty nine eyes, for example, I think honest to god the what I'm getting out of uh, typo negative just from this is that they propose the question all the the all the glitters is not gold and this isn't this is this is a rose uh, this is a this is a gold tinted rose it's dangerous because not just because of the things that are underneath it but the things that come onto the surface it is and again, without having to want to, you know, uh, patronize uh, uh, the the females, uh, the females generally for that matter, but you could see in some strange way why men would throw themselves uh, in front of women in the in the in the way that they describe, because remember, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is something I have to like elaborate on is that even at twenty five, I'm still very foreign and very very um. I don't really want to say immature, but very, very inexperienced on the notions of relationships. Because I've, listen, the, and I just want to establish the difference, because even though I have lost my, uh, you know, lost my, my virginity and all that when I was like 18, and that's not really the same thing, you know what I mean? There's like, there's an affection and a sense of like, you know, passion in one sense, and then there is it in, in, in a completely different sense. And let me tell you something right now, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I could give you a list of the of all the women I've, slept, I've been with. It's something acquainted to roughly about 27, I think, from 13 different countries. But let me tell you something right now. There's really not that much to brag about, to be honest. In fact, to be honest, even I, th I, even I think that, you know what, it's absolutely, it is nowhere near as glamorous as it sounds regardless of the fact that I used protection in all of them. And that's an absolute fact, ladies and gentlemen. I will absolutely, you know, <laughs> right hand to the Lord and say that right now. You know what? Hey, at least that's one thing, you know, I think would women, women would find very, you know, a, a charming and endearing is that they people know how to be, you know, respectful and, you know, 
considerate and you know it, th th those sort of things yes they do fucking matter but it also matters when you take advantage of somebody who is going out of their way who is like friendly and affectionate and you know caring and you know it, it's that's I, I don't want to say that's the reason why I wouldn't want to get with somebody but it always comes back to in especially in this song is that is he good enough for you so he might be good for other people and some people would be absolutely fine and you know what absolutely charmed to death by that sort of thing but what sort of person really would just like brush this whole aside off and but then again how do we know that this guy is how do we know this guy is just so insecure about his own image that maybe he was absolutely right all along and you know he just he's just never heard any of this you know how you get into you know how you we all know the sort of people that will always you know belittle you and will never compliment you and do all this bullshit i think that's kind of it's kind of similar to what we're getting right here it's not so much that that you know this guy is, you know, this woman's an asshole or this guy is uh, too soft for his own good. But maybe they just, why don't they just open up and talk about it? You know what? It, it, and it's, and listen, honesty, you know what? Uh, criticism is not harassment. But you shouldn't be looking at it as like a sales pitch. Like how do you build relations between one person to the other person as though we were working for, you know, uh, Lloyd's or uh, TSB, uh, for example. It's supposed to be about, you know, real human beings with real emotions. And again, remember, this is the real world. There are things that count way too much in the real world that the song absolutely uh, strikes uh, massively. And I will always say right now, I'm... This is really... Re this whole massacre isn't really becoming like a massacre as on, say, Valentine's Day. But it's becoming a massacre in the sense that, well, you know, it's it's a shot to the heart, not like not a not a said not not a you know not a not a curant or even a uh, an affectionate uh, pat on the shoulder. This is really really something. I uh, I'm 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 loving this. I must admit, because I didn't. I was no way expecting things to go as hard as this. Because it's, again, like I said, all the glitters is not gold. And that's, I think that's absolutely striking. So anyway, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys felt of Love You To Death by typo negative for yourselves. And I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.